Good afternoon, everybody. This is Chris Cowan here at the Bruce Combo Tokyo Dojo in Fremont, California. Um, it's got a new package here, just arrived uh, from uh, Century. Um, I haven't ordered from them in a while, but I uh, saw something that popped up. Uh, and I was like, you know what, let me see if I can get my hands on it. Then I can do a review, check it out. So, uh, as you all know, especially those of us who grew up in Dayton, Ohio back in the day, uh, we knew about, you know, Stephen K. Hayes and the whole uh, ninja 80s thing that happened. Um, big boom back then. Um, and, and, and I gotta thank, I gotta thank Stephen Hayes, of course, uh, for all these years. Uh, because for him, he, you know, a lot of us got into this part because of him back in the day. And uh, although things have uh, kind of gone separate paths, uh, those of us still in the Boots Con are still here. I saw this item online and I'm like, I couldn't pass it up. So let me go ahead and get all this stuff out of here. We can take a look at it. Put this on the side here. All right. So what is in the box? What is in the box? Toss this to the side. So what we've ordered here, uh, Steven has worked with Sentry uh, to come up with a traditional ninja so the so the ninja's uniform outfit and the ninja is to be to wear. We know all of these items here that are worn was actually seen in everyday clothing in Japan. Um, but it, it, at some point it was associated with just specific ninja. But that's not true. It was it is part of everyday clothing. Um, depending on who the person was their title was um, you know, female, that kind of thing. Um, and it, it's, you know, so we'll take a look at it, take it off, look at it piece by piece. Um, it's labeled uh, on Century's website as uh, lightweight. Um, it feels a little bit heavier than a lightweight. Um, I don't know, it's not, it's not a medium weight either. It's like right in the middle. But I would say the quality is really good. Okay, I'm just gonna take it out. Okay. So just get rid of the bag here. Uh, instructions, don't need that. Been doing this for too damn long, don't need instructions, okay? So on the top here, we have uh, the techo. So these are the hand coverings. So these these are different from what we're used, normally used to seeing. We're normally seeing this without the thumb. It's normally just over the top like this. Uh, I remember Stephen wearing the ones that he had, which actually covered the thumb with, back in the day, which was a more reminiscent of uh, the kote uh, on the armor. For the, utero, for the arm, for the semi arm. So, and I do like this touch. I liked it back then when I saw him and he had these, and I like it now. This is awesome. So, this one, instead of uh, elastic here, they actually went ahead and sewed the same uh, uh, fabric here in the, in for the fingers and the thumb. What's interesting about this, instead of just having the one uh, elastic band for the middle finger, this actually can accommodate like maybe two fingers. Uh, so, in the middle. So, two fingers could go through like this, and then you have one for the thumb. So covering the back of the hand, I, again, I do like it. One thing I would like to add with this, because uh, these have uh, Velcro at the wrist, or not Velcro, excuse me, elastic at the wrist and elastic at the elbow. What I'd like to do is add actually a, um, a piece of uh, uh, cotton, uh, like shoestring or something, to tie around the wrist, to make it more secure. But for that, I, I don't so much like the elastic, uh, but it is it is nice. So come with two of those, so two, uh, techo. Okay, uh, moving down here, let's see what we got here. Okay, so here uh, we have what's called the, the Fukumen. Okay, so Fukumen uh, is just like it's like the mask part, you know, this is the part that was tied around the mouth. Um, and it's just a long cloth, you know. So later on, I'll have a uh, uh, I'll play through some of my son and put it on hand and we'll go through and look at the different parts of it, you know. Um, here, okay, the Zukin. The Zukin, okay. So, this is just a square piece of cloth. This is normally folded, folded in the corner and then draped over the head and then tied, okay. So, we also know that, you know, um, another word that I would use for this summer thing here would be uh, Tengu. So, I mean, yeah, it might not, it doesn't fit the, all the exact 
proportions or measurements, but that's okay. Um, it still gets the idea of what I'm trying to say here. Okay. Now we get into the uwagi, which is the jacket. Okay. So here's the jacket part. Okay. So the front and back. Okay. You can see that it's longer too, which I really like. Yeah. The sleeves are a little bit shorter. So nice. to the best part. Back in the day, we used to see the old ninja uniforms on sale. They were just a pair of pants. They had the, the cut on the side, the small cut on the side, and then you had the pants, you had the, 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 the obi, attached obi, you know? So it was supposed to represent like a hakama type thing, and you had the strings, the tiny legs, but it wasn't traditional, okay? So this uh, sometimes goes by uh, Iga Bakami or uh, Tatsuke Bakama, uh, or excuse me, Iga Bakama, excuse me, not Iga Bakami, Iga Bakama, excuse me, again, uh, or uh, Tatsuke Bakama, okay, or Tatsuke Hakama, either one, okay. Um, this one is more of the traditional style, like you would see in Japan, which I love, okay. So, as you can see, it has the pleats in the front, hard back. Has a little plastic in the back to tuck this into the into the obi, you know, it's one underneath. Um, so you got your you got the strings attached here, okay. And then as it gets to the bottom, it's, it has the traditional opening here where it overlaps, and then you can tie this tie the strings for the legs, okay. So this is this in itself is worth is worth the money in itself. Just this portion, just. Because other sites will sell these for, I think I've seen some for three hundred dollars, two hundred dollars. Um, so it's up for about one hundred and fifty. And to just this item alone, this whole unit alone, all of this, what the best part about it was that it was only sixty nine ninety nine from Century. That is the best part. So if you could get your hands on this, by all means, please, yeah, I would buy it. I would buy it. Um, I mean, there are some little things that I would fix and change. I'm gonna go over that in a few minutes. But other than that, this is amazing. So definitely get it if you can. Um, uh, so some of the things, going back to the, some of the things I was talking about, like I was talking about uh, here with the, uh, the tech ball. So of course, I can tie a string around here so I can tie the form. Okay. Uh, let's see, other thing. Uh, the uagi, so the, the jacket portion. With this, one thing that I really had a problem with was that they basically just made a gi. And a, a, normally a gi top, a dog, or a dog out, or you know, a gi top. So, one of the things that's associated with that is the splits on the side. Okay? No. If this was more traditional, it would not have a split in the side because when you wear a hakama, you would now have an opening. And you, some of you have seen some of my videos where I wear my regular gi top with my hakama, and you see my, you'll see my, you'll see like my bare leg underneath. You'll see like my underwear and then my bare leg on the side sometimes in some of our videos. Most of them I wear tights underneath, you know, when I wear hakama. Uh, you don't wear my gi like, pants at the bottom. The bottom. Um, but with this here, this opening on the side, you'll see the, you'll see the thigh. So what I would suggest to most people, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to stitch this together here. Um, I will still leave the string out, but I will be stitching this together so that opening will disappear. Okay, that goes for both sides. Okay, um, that's the only thing I would change on that. On the uh, here on the uh, Tatsuke Hakuma or Bakuma, I would. Add longer strings for the top of the shin. The bottom strings are perfect, but the top strings are too short. Um, when you try to tie it, instead of it coming all the way around and tying to the front, it actually you can only tie it in the back if you have like average size calves. If you have huge calves, it's not going to work at all. Um, and they sell this in many different sizes. Um, I think oh, like from size three and up. Um, I bought. I usually wear a size five, 
uh, in Guy, but I bought this as a size six because I know it's gonna shrink once I wash it or something like that. Um, so definitely, I would say whatever size you wear in your uh, in your martial arts attire in cl class, go one size up and then order this. Okay. So again, um, this is the Stephen K. Hayes uh, Ninja uniform uh, from Century, uh, retailing for sixty nine ninety nine. If I were to give this a rating out of, uh, I don't know, uh, one out of ten, I would give this a five out of eight. I'll give it an eight. You know? If it's just for the Hakama itself, I'd give it a ten. Okay, thank you. Uh, this is Chris Cowan at uh, Bujikan Batoku Dojo in Fremont, California. And have a good day. Hey, guys. Yeah. Hey, Chris Cowan here, Bujikan Batoku Dojo. So, I got that box from Century, we were all wondering what it was. Um, you'll see in the first part of the video where I did the unboxing of it. Um, so, it is the Stephen K. Hayes uh, Shidobi Shizu. Here we go. You know? um, my big thing about this whole thing that I admire the most were the Iga Bakama. The, you'll see here. They've got everything all, all there. The pants alone are worth the money. Uh, paid $69.89 plus shipping for this. It was well worth it. Uh, the material is more of a medium weight, not heavy weight, but it still is exactly what we're looking for. What I like about this also was the, uh, the tackle that came with it. Uh, I don't know if you remember back in the late 80s, early 90s, Stephen had these made um, where it included the thumb. Uh, most of the time we see this, especially in the old Tekko just came here and did not include the thumb. What Steven included with this was the idea with the thumb was that uh, a Shinobi, a ninja, will be wearing uh, the hote, uh, yoroi, underneath. This is what I often do, anyway, when I'm, uh, when I'm wearing out of it, dressing up or doing something. When I'm at the Cherry Blossom Festival, I wear the hote underneath um, to represent the back of the hand, the armor on the back of the hand. Um, so I really love this. This is a plus. This is a, an ideal thing right here. Um, what I would like to have on there, um, you know, that, those are the pluses. The minuses, I would say, uh, not, not not me. Um, I would apply, they have elastic in the wrist, which is great, but I would, I would uh, apply, uh, like to have a string attached to put more uh, tighter fit around the wrist. Also, uh, on the leg, on the legs down here, the string is not long enough. So what you have to do is you have to either tie it on the side or just tie it on the front. It's not a problem. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take off the string and put a longer string on it here. Okay. Uh, another thing was the uh, kimono underneath here. Okay. So this one they basically made was just a regular gi top. Okay. Uh, and it, exactly what it is, it's just longer uh, in the front and back. The problem I have with that is that it has splits in the sides. So therefore, because that was there, this would open up. I actually would stitch this down myself. As you can see, my leg underneath here, okay? Um, but these areas, if I didn't stitch this, you would have seen my underwear. You would have seen everything else that was here, you know? But I stitched it down. And then I actually took the string that was on this side and put it on the inside. So I was able to tie this and then and have, it, have it worn, okay? So my thing, my gripe would be, they need to sew the sides down, or, or and make the sides longer. Also, um, that was the only side part that I thought was a, was a negative. Um, other than that, um, only uh, what it comes with is the Igabakama, the pants, uh, the gi top here, um, the, the uh, techo here, and it comes with two pieces of cloth here, like a tinagui type thing. Um, these two cloths are um, if you have a small hand. It's I had to really tie this to tighten the back to get it because it wasn't a lot of material. Um, the ones I have are actually a little bit bigger that I, that I actually made from my um, where um, it can be tied around, go around the head, and then tie the back. Uh, it's a lot easier to fit it. But all in all, I would say, I would give this, um, in terms of, um, I'm going to give a rating because I think I already gave it a rating before in the previous part of the video, but I have to say I love this. This is great. This is great. So I am going to try and order some for, for my two sons um, and for the smaller sizes. So we can have, have, you know, make a little kid ninja video. I think it will have fun with it. 
Um, this is a step above what we used to have back in the 80s. Step above. Um, I would say 10 times that. Um, the only other thing I would say is if, uh, if Century could provide another higher class version of this, which is in a heavy duty material versus a medium weight material, um, I think that would be, they should, they should do that as the next thing. Uh, if we want to go that next step up with this type of outfit. Other than that, uh, Chris Cowan, Bruce Cowan, Jojo, signing out.